Hey, what's up, guys? This is a video on how to um, play emulators in the NVIDIA Shield. We'll be starting with the Super Nintendo emulator. Um, I use this one, Super Retro 16. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, it works great. It's on the Play Store. Uh, I'll show you real quick here. Oh. Super Retro 16. There's a free version and a paid version. Uh, the paid version is $199, two bucks basically. Uh, as far as I know, you can do everything you can do in the paid version. I think maybe you can't do save states or something like that, um, but it should still work just fine. A few things you might want to have ahead of time is ES File Explorer and Puffin Browser. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, the ES File Explorer will be for if you want to move your games to a particular folder or you know, or make a folder and put them where you want to put them at, whether it's internal storage, SD card, USB drive, what have you. So we'll jump into Puffin Browser. We're going to look up a ROMs website. This is the one I use. Emu Paradise. I'm going to go ahead and jump down into ROMs, ISOs, and games. And we'll come down here until we find Super Nintendo. I've already got some ROMs installed, um, but I will show you one just as an example. I'm not going to download anything, but I will show as an example here. Uh, let's say we wanted Zombies Ate My Neighbors. You would go down to Download Links, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and then it'll come down here. Sometimes it might have you do a CAPTCHA where you know you have to put in a little code or something but sometimes it doesn't in this case we can actually just go all the way down and if you click on this it will start downloading it will automatically go to the downloads folder in this browser but with EX File Explorer you can use it to uh, move the files around where you want them at and uh, make folders and etc I've got mine stored on my SD card. This used to be my old PSP memory card, so I actually do have some ROMs on it already from uh, back when I used to emulate on my PSP. But uh, let's see here if I remember where they're at. Yeah, here we go. It's down in my SNES 9X folder, which was the PSP's uh, emulator. And I've got some ROMs here. So well, we'll go ahead and load it up. Uh, as you can see, all my games have come up. Uh, what you might need to do is hit sync for it to search the SD card for games. And it'll start searching. If it doesn't find them, you may have to go into settings and ROM directory and choose the directory where you specifically have your ROMs. Uh, you may need to use a mouse for this. Sometimes that can be a little bit easier. Okay, well, if you go to right here and go over one, it doesn't show it, but it does have this highlighted and you can back up to the directories of your... <clears throat> storage whether it's internal or the SD card so if it doesn't automatically detect them you may have to do that for it to find the games but anyway we'll run a game here just uh, as an example um, let's see here good old Super Mario World well actually no let's run something different let's run Earthbound here As you can see, it's running just fine. Um, on the NVIDIA Shield, it automatically maps controls. As 
you can see it works just fine. Uh, I don't know if the audio is coming through. I'm using a headset to try to cut down on the um, noise made from the controller click clacking around as I use it. But anyway, you get the gist. It works just fine. Um, actually, I'll load up another game just so you can see an end game. Super Mario All-Star is the old classic. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The start and select are mapped to the right and left joysticks. The right joystick R3 when you press N will be your start. And the left joystick press N will be select. You can actually change this if you want to. Um, the only problem with the NVIDIA Shield controller if you're using it is that it does not have a select button. It has a back button, that, but that's your hardware back button. But anyway, we'll uh, jump into a game here. And like I said, I don't know if the game's audio is coming through, but you get the gist. It works great. It runs great. Has no problems at all. You can obviously customize whether you want it 4x3 or 16x9. With 16x9, it will stretch out the picture just like with a lot of things. And I should have done that before. But anyway, yeah, this runs great. Um, I did this for a friend because he said he didn't know how to do some of this. Which is okay, not everybody does. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks a lot guys.